so now we can create connector for all these balancing connectors so first we have to open this library again and from here we can create new component so we can start from here creating new symbol so it's 13 pin and then we can create this pin array and we can use it like this and then it's 13 pins so now we have created this symbol and we can save it then we can create new package and from here we can search for connectors for this we can use this component and we probably have to adjust all these values once we find correct component for this so we have seven columns and two rows so we can set from here it's about 80 or 20 millimeters so this looks about right and then we can save this and we can create new component using these symbols so from here we have to add device and it is this and we can place it here and then we have to connect this local package so it's here uh, as we can see this numbering is a little bit off so we can adjust them now so we have to go back into this library and we could start from this one so well okay so we can change that numbering but it's okay so we just have to connect them like that and now it should be correct and we can save this and then we can add this new component here in this schematic so it's this and we can place it somewhere there uh, well maybe we could adjust that let's change these numbers so it make more sense so we can go here and we will change them so we 
we had to start from here. And I'm gonna change these numbers so it matches that other component. So now we have updated all these numbers and we can save this. And then we can try if it automatically updates. Okay, so now there's they all match now. And then we can do it like this, we just draw these lines here. And now if we go here and then select this one, we should be able to if we click here and then we name this net V0 because it's for zero cell and then we select here and select this and we give that same name. So now they should be connected. Where's that? Didn't update there. We have to add this. We probably have to add this label here. For some reason it doesn't. Okay, so I have to check why it. Okay, so we have to click here and press this name and then we can select and give it V0. And this one is also V0. And this is V1. And then we can do this same thing here. And then we connect all these rest of them. So now we have connected all these and I'm gonna little bit adjust this. So it should be from here. And then click this. Right. Doesn't work. Well, for some reason, this Alan tool doesn't work, so I have to. Move them all there. So now we have all this here and we can save this. Then we can go back here to this PCB. And here we have this new component here uh, I'm gonna press here so I see how this looks okay so I'm gonna move it somewhere We could probably move these somewhere here. Well, I think this connector is too big for this application, but we can use it for now. We will change it later. So I'm going to now rotate this component. 
so it can be like that. And I'm gonna wrote these here now. We can start from here. And we can go this use this bottom line here. So it's gonna be easier to wrote this. Something like that. Then I'm gonna roll the rest of them. I will save it now. We have to change this pin because it doesn't fit here correctly. So for this project we will probably use some JST pin header. They are a lot smaller and it's better for this battery application and it can be fit somewhere here.